Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to install any games from Microsoft Store uh, because of this error code that is 0x8923506. So if you're receiving this error while installing game on Microsoft Store, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to run gaming services repair tool. So if Xbox app is pre-installed in your computer, you can type in Xbox app and then open Xbox app. On the top left, you can click on profile icon and then click on support. And then you can click on gaming services repair tool. Click on start repairing and then click on yes to allow and let the process complete. This process will take some time. Once this is done, you can close this and then check. You can also run the gaming. If Xbox app is not installed, then in that case, you can type in gaming services repair tool in Google and then you can go to Xbox support website, go to Microsoft website which says gaming services repair tool. On this website, scroll down, you will see downloadable version, click on it and then scroll down here you can see download the gaming services repair tool for PC, click on it and this will download an exe file, run this exe file, click on yes to allow and let the process complete. Once you see completed successfully, you can close this and then you can check. Still you're facing the problem, then log out and log in with correct account on Microsoft Store. So you can open Microsoft Store on the top right here. You can see the profile icon. Click on if it is already logged in, then sign out and then click on sign in. Select the right account which has the game and then enter your PIN or password over here. And once logged in, if you have Xbox app, install then you can do the same thing you can sign out and then you can click on sign in if it is installed if it is not installed you can just ignore it click on sign in and then click on sign in and select the same account which you have selected in microsoft store select the same account so log in with the same account over here and once logged in now you can check still you are facing the problem the next step is to make sure date time time zone and reason is correct on your computer so on the bottom right uh, you can just go to Windows settings and then go to time and language and then go to language uh, go to date and time and make sure set time zone automatically is on. Also make sure set time automatically is also on. Make sure both are on and then click on sync now. Sync now is important. So click on sync now. If you receive any kind of uh, like error in red color, just click on sync now once again. And then again, go back to time and language and then go to language and region and make sure your country is selected over here. Select the right country over here. And then you can check. Next step is to go to Microsoft Store library and then try to install it from there. So you can open Microsoft Store, go to library, on the bottom left here you can see library now if you see the game in the list over here and in front of it if you see download option so here you can see uh, there is update so if you see update or download option in the library you can find the game over here once if you find the game just try to download it from here or you can go to downloads also if, if you see the game over here and update option or install option you can try it from here so, if that does not work, run this PowerShell command. This command is provided in the video description. So copy this command, type in PowerShell in Windows search box, and then make a right click on Windows PowerShell and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you open Windows PowerShell as an administrator. Click on yes to allow, paste the command over here, hit the enter key. Now this process will take some time. And during this process, you will see some errors like this in red color. So if you see errors like this, just ignore it and let the process complete. Once this process is complete, it will be completely red. Once it is done, now you can close this and then check. Next step is to delete Microsoft Store local cache file. Now for this, you can open File Explorer, go to this PC, open C drive. Now open Users folder. Now open Your Username folder. Now open App Data folder. Now if you don't see App Data over here, at the top click on View, select Show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder. Now open the local folder. Now find the packages folder, open the packages folder. Now scroll down and find this Microsoft Windows Store underscore some alphanumeric character. So you have to find Microsoft Windows Store and some alphanumeric character. So scroll down and find Microsoft Windows Store. So scroll down. Microsoft Store 
Microsoft Windows Store. So over here you can see Microsoft Windows Store underscore some alphanumeric character. Open this folder and then you have to open. Yeah, once you open this folder. Now over here you can see local cache folder. Open this folder and delete the content of this folder. Or you can simply go back and make a right click on local cache and then click on delete. Now once this is deleted, now you can check. Now scroll down and then run WS reset command. So type in WS reset in Windows search box and then click on WS reset. This will open Microsoft Store once again and then you can check. Now the next step is to repair or reset Microsoft Store. Now for this type in store in Windows search box or you can type in Microsoft Store in Windows search box and then make a right click on Microsoft Store and then click on app settings. And over here scroll down and then click on repair. Once the repair is done, now you can check. Still you're facing the problem. In that case, you can perform reset, reset. Now once the reset is complete, now you can open Microsoft Store and then you can check. Now still you're facing the problem. The next step is to update store from store downloads. Now for this, you can go to Microsoft Store. Here you can see download option, go to downloads. And over here you will see the get updates option. So click on get updates. Once everything is up to date, now you can check. Next step is to install Xbox identity provider and gaming services. Now for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website, you will see the install button or get option or download option to install Xbox identity provider. Click on it. It will prompt you to open Microsoft store. So open Microsoft store. And if get option is highlighted or install option is highlighted, click on install. In my case, it is already installed. That's why it's grayed out. If this is grayed out, that means it is already installed. You no need to install once again. Now uninstall gaming services. So run this command. This command is provided in the video description. Type in PowerShell in Windows search box and then make a right click on Windows PowerShell and make sure that you run PowerShell as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Paste the command over here, hit the enter key. This will uninstall gaming services from the computer. Once this is done, now scroll down, run this command. This command is also provided in the video description and then paste the command on the same window and then hit the enter key. This will open Microsoft Store and then you will see the install option or get option to install gaming services. Click on yes to allow and let the process complete. This will take some time and once the download is complete, now you can check. Now still you're facing the problem. The next step is to start all these services. So type in services in Windows search box and then click on services and then find IP helper in the list. Make a double click on IP helper. Set it to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Now find Xbox services. At the end here you can see Xbox services, four Xbox services. Make a double click on each Xbox services, set it to automatic and then hit apply. Click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Again, make a double click and then set it to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Or you can simply make a right click and then click on restart. And then select this Xbox service. Now set it to automatic once again. Apply, click on start and then click on OK and then make a double click on this, set it to automatic, apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Now once this is done, find Windows update, make a double click on Windows update, set this to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Make a right click and then click on restart. Now find Microsoft Store install service. Here you can see, make a double click, set it to automatic, click on apply, Click on start if highlighted and then make a right click then click on restart. Now once this is done, now you can check. Still not working then okay uh, you have to run this gaming services as well. So type in services once again and find gaming services in the list. Make a double click on gaming services and then you can if start is highlighted click on start or you can simply make a right click and then click on restart.
make a right click if you see start highlighted click on start or else you can click on restart if it is already running in that case you can stop it and then you can restart the service once again stop it and then you can make a right click and then click on restart or start whatever you see so make a right click and then click on start or restart now once this is done now you can check next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so open windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can check next step is to run inet cpl.cpl command so type in inet cpl.cpl and then click on advanced go to the advanced tab scroll down and over here you can see use tls 1.1 1.0 1.1 use tls 1.2 use tls 1.3 make sure all four are checked over here and then hit apply make sure that you hit apply and then click on ok and then you can check next step is to try installing the game to the c drive so if you're trying to install it to different drive in that case you can try to install to, to the c drive if it is already c drive is already selected then try to install to the different drive and then check for this you can open windows settings and then you can go to uh, windows update let me check uh, go to system sorry go to system and then go to storage and then scroll down and over here you can see uh, advanced storage settings click on it and here you can see where new content is saved click on it and over here uh, if you are use if you are using d drive uh, in that case uh, you can select c drive and then hit apply if your if c drive is already selected in that case you can select d drive or e drive and then hit apply and then you can check next step is to uninstall and reinstall microsoft store so you can copy this command this command is provided in the video description type in powershell once again in windows search box make a right click on, on windows powershell click on run as administrator click on yes to allow paste the command hit the enter key this will uninstall microsoft store from the computer now copy the second command and then paste the command hit the enter key this will reinstall microsoft store now you can open microsoft store and then you can check next step is to update if nothing is working you can update your windows to the latest version using media creation tool if you have windows 10 copy this link if you have windows 11 copy this link windows 10 users go to this website here you can see media creation tool click on download tool now and then run this exe file then you will see the screen click on accept by default upgrade this pc now would be selected click on next it will start downloading windows 10 along with the latest update now this process will take some time now once the download is complete before the installation you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so click on install and once the installation is complete log into your computer now for windows 11 users go to this website here also you will find media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file click on yes to allow now this will load windows 11 media creation tool now click on accept by default windows 11 would be selected click on next select iso file then click on next you can save the location you can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here now once the download is complete click on finish and then go to desktop find windows iso file make a double click on windows iso file then run the setup file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow this will load windows 11 now and here you can see install windows 11 click on next it will check for update then click on accept again it will check for update now before the installation you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer click on install 
after the installation log into your computer so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error code and you should be able to install games from microsoft store so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel